Hello and welcome all in this video. So we are going to discuss about the important steps, one of the important steps in the pond maintenance that is the eradication of predatory and weed fishes. So this is the step, one of the step in the maintenance of the pond that is the control of predatory and weed fishes. So once again I request here by that before watching this video please watch all that videos which are made on the pond maintenance so let us see the control of predatory and weed fishes or the control of or eradication of predatory and weed fishes so the fishes which feed the fish which feed on our cultivable our cultivable species are called as that particular fishes are called as predatory fishes predatory fishes means the fishes which feed upon our cultivable species that is called as predatory fish species or predatory species and the weed fishes means the weed fishes means the fishes or the fish are those fishes which consume the aquatic vegetation which consume the aquatic vegetation and thus compete with the fishes under cultivation so there are two types of fishes which can affect on the fish culture that is predatory fishes which directly fish directly uh, feed upon the cultivable fish species that is hatchlings of the uh, hatchlings of our uh, cultivable species and weed fishes are the fishes which can engulf, which can consume the aquatic, aquatic vegetation and which is uh, useful for the uh, growth, healthy growth of the culture, cultural species. So, in the maintenance of the pond, we must eradicate the, these two types of fishes, predatory fishes and weed fishes. Again, the predator, this, uh, feed, uh, predatory fishes are feed sound planktonic masses and consumes almost all natural fish food organisms and occupy quite good space in the pond ecosystem. They also occupy the space in the pond system. So, due to this region, uh, it becomes necessary to complete removal of the predatory or weed fishes or we can control over the predatory and weed fishes for the, for the fish farming purpose. So there are a number of predatory fishes like Clarius batrachus, Clarius uh, chana punctatus, then Heteropinus fossilus, Mr. Singala, Mr. Saur, Notopterus chitala, Notopterus notopterus, Valagotu. These are some well known predatory fishes which are found generally in the freshwater ponds. Then also there are having some weird fishes like uh, Barilius bandelesis, Barilius bola. Berylus vagra, then Rasbora, Dancy, Dancunius. These are some fishes are also found in the fresh, uh, that is in the cultivable ponds. So we must eradicate these fishes from that particular area where we can grow our cultivable species. So there are a number of methods of eradication by following these methods we can control over the predatory and weed fishes. So in that first method that is dewatering. Dewatering is a method, well known method, dewatering. That is a complete dewatering of the pond followed by drying of soil bottom is suggested as a successful method in eradication of unwanted fishes. So we can completely dewater the pond and followed by the dry, drying of the pond, this is useful method, successful method in the eradication of on unwanted fishes. But these methods can be used in a small cultivable ponds. But in case of heavily silted ponds, desilting after dewatering, desilting after dewatering becomes necessary. In heavily silted pond, desilting after dewatering is advisable 
because certain species of fishes like morels catfishes and again having some fishes like mud eel remain alive even deep in the mud so hence diesel desilting assist in removal of these fishes normally dewatering is suggested in the summer and when the depth of the water goes down to the minimum at the time of summer season we can use this method of dewatering and desilting sometimes we can use the second method of eradication or removal of the eggs and the fishes from the fish pond that is use of some nets this method is primitive one and not but not a very sure method however by repeated netting in a small water small water tanks with the help of the drag net ensure successful removal of the predatory fish so we can also use drag net type of nets to remove these fishes also we can use the hook and lines to remove the predatory fishes hooks and lines hooks and long lines are applied to catch mostly the predatory fishes like valagotto and morels and again there is having uh, some important method of eradication or removal of this fish or control over this fish that is the poisoning it is a sure method of eradication the predatory and weed fishes from the any size the water water any size the water body but its use has been kept restricted because of highly toxic effect to various useful aquatic biota it produces toxicity in planktons also therefore more care and precaution is essential in the selection of poison and its application in culturable nursery ponds and rearing ponds so this poison there are having different type of fish poisons that is some fish poison is of plant origin the these are there are number of plants number of plants which may be used for fish poisoning and various parts of the plants such as stem bark seed leaves and roots of some plants can be used as the material for the fish poisoning some of the plants which are generally used for this purpose like cotton tigulium dairy's root powder again then sugar cane uh, sugar cane jaggery these are some plants generally used for this purpose of making the fish poison then we can use dairy's root powder dairy's root powder containing ingredient as rotinone this dairy's powder having ingredient as rotinone and is the most commonly used it is dairy root powder is most commonly used fish poison it acts as a contact poison it acts as a contact poison and uh, it damages the respiratory system of the unwanted fishes and ultimately causes the death of that predatory and unwanted fishes it can damages the respiratory system of the unwanted fishes and it is effective up to the depth of 1.5 meter on hot sunny days we can apply this powder effective up to the depth of 1.5 meter on hot sunny days in the summer majority of the weed fishes are killed at 4 mg per liter of dairy's powder and air breathing fishes like morels then climbing perches then mud eel etc can be killed by dose of 6 to 10 mg per liter of dairy's powder and this powder or this dairy's powder mixed with the water and spread over the pond surface this poison is very much effective in shallow water the poisoning can be effective of the dairy's root powder last for the the effect of the poison of the dairy's root powder last for 4 to 12 days 
4 to 12 days and the effect of this powder of the poison made by this dairy root powder can be remain about 4 to 12 days when applied in range of 4 to 20 milligram per liter then it should be applied one month before stocking of fingerlings in ponds we should apply this powder one month before stocking before stocking of the culturable fish species we can also use mahua oil cake mahua oil cake is also used as a fish poison and its active ingredients like rasparin saponin is poisonous for the predatory fishes it can cause hemolysis of the rbcs its recommended application is 200 to 250 mg per liter to fish ponds it causes hemolysis in the rbcs and that can lead to the death poisoning poisoning effect remains for moa oil cake remains for about 21 days from the day of application its application should be done at least a month before the stocking of the carp spawn in the nursery ponds and we can also use sugar cane jaggeries the sugar cane jaggery at 1% concentration may used in the fish pond for eradication of unwanted fish species and the effective ingredient is saponin in this sugar cane jaggery then we can also use some chemicals like chlorinated hydrocarbons chlorinated hydrocarbons like aldrin dialdrin indrin tafferin 20 these are some chlorinated hydrocarbons aldrin dialdrin indrin tafferin 20 are applied for the eradication of predatory enabled fishes we can apply aldrin at 0.2 mg per liter dialdrin at 0.01 mg per liter indrin for 0.01 mg per liter and tafidrin 24 0.008 mg per liter and uh, this can effective in eradication of many unwanted species of the fishes and their toxic effect remains for about 12 to 15 days in the pond and lastly we can also use some organophosphates as a fish poison like phosphamidone thiomethyl ddvp that is dimethyl dichlorovinyl phosphate these are some chemicals which can also used as a fish poison for the eradication of unwanted predatory and weed fishes from the culturable ponds so these these are some steps for the method of eradication of predatory and weed fishes so once again thank you for watching this video and if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe this channel thank you